Hey everybody, today we're covering a little something I found out while trying to make mirrors work um, on the interior after I think it was the 1.40 or 1.41 update. Um, they changed the environmental s scenes inside the game, um, which has sometimes proven a little bit difficult to uh, manage how everything looks um, at night and during the day. Um, first, I'm going to show you uh, what you need to have set up. So when you go up here to this, the active tool and workspace settings in Blender, you want to make sure that you have the shader presets available to you. Um, these are usually within the Blender tools folder when you download it. Uh, you can find this text file um, or the conversion tools. It's in one of those two things. You can find that presets file. Now, I have a, a mirror loaded in. This is on the W900 that you've probably seen on Facebook if you watch me there. Um, I have reset all the values so you can go in and see what you should be doing. Um, first, we want to go into material mode. Material preview, for that matter. Now, just on first glance, this looks okay. Um, because that's what Blender offers. It gives you, you know, kind of what it should look like in whatever generalized area you're looking at. Now, if you change the world properties, which is important in this particular case, you can see all these default nice things. Now, we're going to go to the Sun Profiles library. Um, this is included in the def files of the game. So you're going to extract the defs, and you're going to go to these folders. So it's going to be def, climate, default, nice. Under nice, in this lighting, you're going to see all of these things. Now, nice one through 24, well, those are times. So this one is one o'clock in the morning. This is six o'clock in the morning. This is noon. You know, this is 4 p.m. here. So this is, you can check to see what this looks like at all times of the day and night. Now that's the trick to getting these to work correctly. Now you'll notice this small uh, mirror on the bottom. I haven't changed yet. Uh, that looks like it's supposed to in game. So <clears throat> if I select this, now this is 1 a.m. You'll notice how dark the mirror is. The chrome is obviously very dark on the mirrors because it's nighttime, and that's what it's going to look like. Although it is still shiny, it's dark. Now look at the mirror on the bottom. The mirror on the bottom is bright, but the mirror on the top is dark. And that's where managing your materials comes in. So if we click on this here, this is being piece 13, you'll notice the diffuse values and the specular values and the shininess and all these things. Now, the luminance output is the important part here. The trick is, um, with these particular reflections, you need to turn the diffuse and the specular all the way down to nothing. So they should be zero. Uh, standard operating procedure here is shininess is four. Uh, this is what you'll find on the um, the stock SCS trucks. Now if I move this slider, say to negative five, you can see how obnoxiously bright that is compared to the bottom mirror. Um, that's because the negative values remove the luminance or like I guess it's anti-luminance kind of so as you start going to zero and then over zero it goes black so we obviously don't want it black but where do we put it is the question now the top value here is day the bottom value is night now we're at night time So how do you know what nighttime should look like compared to day? Well, what I started playing around with is if I am in night now, one o'clock in the morning, 
if I go back to the world view, you can look at what the the lowest elevation of the sun is negative 30, and the ambient, diffuse, and specular is all zeroed out. Um, but if you look at 24, it's only negative 15. So this is nice zero one. It's definitely the lowest the sun is, so it's the darkest. So this is where we want to set our night mirror to. So if we want it to get to look like this one, I know what the value is, but I'll show you kind of how I got there. So I drag this over and I kind of keep moving it until it's somewhere around negative one. Negative one seems to be a good value. And I think that mirror is actually negative 1.5. So it's a little bit bright, but now it looks a little bit bright, but at night we know there's actually no light at all, really, um, behind us, around us and stuff like that. So I kind of set it lower than a negative one, but you say, Jeff, this, this is in daytime. Well, Blender doesn't output what it looks like at night. You can only change the weather or the time of day to these items here. So what you do now is you go back to the material mode and you actually put the negative 1.5 into the night mode because that's how you want this mirror to look at night. So we figured it out with the day, but pictured at night in the screen, if that makes sense. Now we can go do the day. So now if we go back to the world settings, and I played around with this as well, it's also one o'clock. So 1300 hours is the highest point the sun is. And if I look here, that's probably a little bit bright. So maybe 1.5 and that dims it down just a touch. And again, these are, these are settings that you're gonna have to go through in the game and kind of verify that that's how it works out for you and that's the way you like it but this is how to figure out what to how they get those values um in the game and how to make them look correct so remember to uh too long didn't read is diffuse and specular at zero shininess four negative one and between negative one and negative 1.5 on the night mirror and that is how you figure out how to get your mirrors working in both day and night in American Truck Simulator. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you for the next one.